Good morning, Pisces. How are you? Um, thank you, Pisces. Love you. Um, I've been up since four trying to get in touch with these people to do my Shopify. Whatever took place there, I had two stores. It was crazy. And I only know of one. But anyway, they had me paying for two stores. So anyway, don't forget to wear your mask. Wash your hands. Please get get with the get get, okay? You know it's that springtime. Everybody want to get out, have fun, and party with people. Make your party small, please. Do that. We need to make them party small, all right? We need to do that and not be all over the place with our parties. Um, think about other people. I was um, saying, you know, people are not taking this serious. But if they tell you you got another illness, then you want to take that serious. Treat this as any other illness. If they tell you you got cancer today, you be spooked the fuck out. You be all crazy. But you don't want to take this um, virus serious. It's like anything else. It will kill you. You understand? So take it seriously. All right, sweetheart? I love you all, and I want y'all to be in good hand. Please, I pray for y'all all the time. All right. Thank you all for those who like, share, subscribe to my channel. Thank you a million. I love you all. Thank you for all those who get private readings from me. I thank you. They're spiritual and I just love what I do. Okay. Um, I get to meet you face to face and I don't forget one reading that I do. Best to believe that. Some of y'all come back and you know, it's seeing you again. It's like, wow, again, you know, it's telling me that, um, you going through what I said, and then you come back and you said, Miss Lisa, that happened, you know. But that's just funny, you know. But um, it's beautiful, though, to know that um, things like that literally happen because it's a reading. But when I go spiritual with you, it's a whole nother level, okay? Thank you for all those who go on my shopper fat and order my jewelry. These are my homemade jewelry. I order a machine that's going to really, really help me make rings and everything, okay? And I cannot wait to get it. Um, I order these stones, and they're coming from um, Turkey. So as soon as I get them, I will be able to make rings out of them. Real beautiful necklace. I cannot wait to get the stones. I'm going to get the machine before I get the stones. So, um... That's something new that I'm adding on. Um, I, I want to put my line out in the store, so I'm just going to start branding and see who's going to pick me up, uh, you know, to brand my own line store, um, to put it out in the stores, in regular stores. I don't want just any store. I want a boutique, okay? I want my brand to be um, respected, not just thrown around where people can just grab. No, these stones or energy stones, and that's what I want. I want. I don't want every hand on a stone. I want you to be able to pick what you want, and it's your energy. So I'm going to get into opening a store, branding my store, and it's going to be a boutique, and I cannot wait to open it. I'm going to be so excited to open up this boutique with my jewelry line on it. So the doors are open up to many possibilities in ATL. Y'all ask me what part of ATL I'm going to be in. I'm going to post it on my community board sometime today. Okay. For all those who said they're driving from different towns to come and start selling their stuff on the flea market. That just made me so happy because I'm literally talking to people who live in Atlanta, but these people are saying they're coming from the next town over to come and sell their product. And I'm just so happy. And I want y'all to share this on your um, Facebook or Instagram and let people know that I, not even if there are Pisces or whatever, that they can come there and make money. This is going to be nice. And you get to taste my, my own food that I will be cooking and I will be selling. And my special, special, special drink that I make, okay, with uh, cucumbers, Key, um, um, a kiwi, um, mint, and um, lime, and it's made out of this out of this water that I make. It's my own brand, and I want y'all to taste it. It's so refreshing in the summer. It's very refreshing. 
Okay, so I want to put that out too. It's a lot of things that you don't know that I do, and I want to learn from you. So if y'all bake, bring your bacon to the table. If whatever it is, bring it to the table. You know, have a spot there, grow there, because I'm going to be there every week, and I every weekend, and I want to let you know if this can expand, then we will make it a flea market of seven days a week. Okay, so we're going to see how it's going to work for the weekend, and then we can turn it into a seven-day week like anything else where people can bring their vegetables, their fruit, and sell it there. You understand? Like, I want this to be huge and be successful. I want it to be somewhere where people can come and sell their clothes or whatever. Just like if you had a store, you can run your own business right there. And it just don't have to be the weekend, but we're testing it as in the weekend. And if it be successful, we'll do it throughout the weekday. So what better yet? It's better than you owning your own store and paying for the electric and everything. At least you have this store for $50 per day, and you're going to make a huge killing from it. It's very nice. I can't wait. I'm excited about this. Super, super excited to be in Atlanta to open up my store, my flea market. Me and Mercedes and her husband are going to join together to make this huge. And I know it's going to be huge. It's going to be a market where you can come all the time and sell your things. And I'm starting it off on the weekend. So please support me and spread the news out. So whoever live in Atlanta that you know, or, or the town over where it's like maybe 40 minutes away or half an hour, whatever it is, that they can come in there and start selling their stuff. What better place than to sell your stuff and people start to know that you're going to be there and they want to come to you. They want to sell or buy your product. Come on. It's enough money for all of us. And I want to do this. I want to make it one of a kind. I want to make sure that people can come there every day, every day, like a regular store, but outside. And when it gets cold outside, I bring it inside. I want to keep this going. I want to be able to have my own building, my huge building that you can actually have a spot in that building for $50. Where can you get that? You can't get that nowhere. I'm not charging you for the light bill. I'm not charging you for anything. And on top of that, if you want to use the kitchen there to prepare your food and bring it out to sell, I will allow you to do that. I'm telling you, this is huge. I want to support you in any way I can. And this is huge to me. It means a lot to me and Mercedes. We are pairing up to do this, to open up something huge. I want to support you. And I want you to support me. And we can grow together. Because that's what I'm about, growth. Growth in any level in your life. I want to be a growth in your life, in your journey. I also will be doing private readings right there on the spot. And they won't be $65, but they'll be, it won't be as long as they are. Maybe there'll be a 20 minute reading or whatever, but different price for different readings. Okay. But I'm willing to do it for you. Okay. So let's get this started. I also want you to know that, um, like I was saying about the store, I'm just so excited about this. Super excited. Um, you know, I make my own jewelry. Like I said, this is my jewelry line. Okay, and I will be making rings and everything. I have all the oils to make. These are oils that I've been using of my product to make people salt baths out of my salt. Okay? Make salt baths out of my salt for you. Two take a bath, whatever it is, whether it's a love saw, whether it's uh, keeping um, bad energy away from you, I can make whatever you want. If you wanted a saw, if you want me to make you a candle, people are telling me, but you don't have your candles there. The candles, everything is customized made. You tell me what you want, I will put the price for the candle and I will make you the candle to your liking. The same as your bath, salt bath. It depends on what you want and what you want it for. Everything and anything you want, I will make for you on this end and ship it out to you. Correct? Do you understand? All right. So that part, people was asking me, I'm making your bath, 
to wear your bath salt the way you want with my salt. Okay, you see that? My salt. My salt, a chunky salt. All right, so I'm making it with my salt, what you want. I also will make your candles how you want your candles to be. Okay, and I will tell you the chakra colors that's going to go for your candle. What, if you want it for your, you're thinking a lot, whatever it is, what you feel like something is not right, you can get them done in the chakras. All right, you tell me what you want and I'll give it to you and I'll make it for you. Also, um, I got the bath to clean your, your home. I got the ones you can take a bath and clean your home. Okay, I got the herb, um, the herb, um, the herb, uh, baths that you boil. I also have the plant. I finally got the plant, the root plant. And I've been trying to show y'all the root plant. This is huge for you to have. The root plant, um, the root products is, is, is super huge. Look it up and it tells you all the things it would do for you. Black saw is going also on my market. I got to put it up. And if I can remember to put it up, I will. So I'm going to sit it here so I can remember to do that. Okay. Um, I, I'm also, um, I'm just so happy right now of everything that's going on in my life. Uh, I hope I didn't forget anything. I really do. Um, I got herbs for you to make your um, candles and all. And I'm selling them the whole thing for 20 uh, 20 bags, seven ounces, okay, that this would last you a long time. There's 20 bags on here. 20 bags, okay? So, uh, let's get started. I hope I not forget nothing. And I want to say happy birthday to the Pisces out there. Happy birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. I want to send out prayers for anyone that's going into surgery or have this COVID. Send out the prayers for those who are in the hospital. Please. It's important that we send out prayers. Okay? Yesterday, I used this set of cards. Okay? And um, let's see. Let's move into something different. All right? I used those set of cards, and I really like them. They, they did a lot. They said a lot. And, um... But I like to switch up. So let's go and find out what this card is. Um, these are the um, My Art Michaels uh, cards. And they're flying out. They got a lot to say. Okay. A lot to say. A lot to say. Okay. So. Uh -huh. Okay. So let's get going with this. The first card you got is the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups. All right? And this Knight of Cups seems like it's moving. As you can see, that the water, you can see the movement. You can see the waterfalls. This is full of love. Full of love. You have to know that this night is coming to you full of love. Okay? It says romance, flirting. Okay? Taking pictures, taking pictures, like uh, selfies or pictures of um, of each other. Somebody is like taking pictures, like they like feeling themselves. A lot of pictures taken for, for y'all. Something is, or they're taking pictures for you, or somebody's taking pictures for somebody. Here. Falling in love, being swept off your feet. A sudden love affair, it's a, it's a, a sudden love affair. A lack of balance in a relationship. Um, situation or topics that make your heart flutter. A love of art and poetry. This person, even though it is a uh, 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 Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer, it also can be an uh, air sign because poetry um is air. They love um art and stuff like that. Okay, they love music. Anything that can talk to them, all right? Pisces, we're very, um, when it comes to us, we really lay back. We like that R&B and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, we lay back. Um, this here is someone from your past. If you have known a long time, 
And this card is showing up a lot. Someone from your past that you know in a long time is coming back or is back or whatever it is. All right. Um, I see a lot of cups. I see a puppy. It looks like my Joe. Okay. You know, my little Jojo, but they're offering you this flower, but you have that cup half there. Okay. It's a childhood or ch it's children or childhood friend. Be visiting or old dreams or plans. Embracing your inner child. The return of people or romance from your past. Romantically how things used to be. Romancing on how things used to be. Can I say something to you, Pisces? It's, 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 it, you're in a part of your life that it's this huge choice that you're going to have to make. You're going to have to make this choice. And you've been waiting for this choice all your life. Sometimes, I just want to say something to you. Life, okay, is a turning point right now that the time is going backwards, right? And that is telling you time, time is going back. So it's taking you back to something in your life. It could be people that not even a love them, but here it shows love because it got so much love to offer you. So much love. It's a lot of love here. Do you understand? A lot of love. And so, we got to work with this. We're going to have to work with it. All right? We're going to have to work with everything that we got to make it work. Now, I don't know why it just took me there. This is weird, but something that is testing you and your faith in a person that you're going to have to make a decision here. And it's got to do with your heart. This is your heart. This is your heart. And can I say something to you? I don't know what who I'm talking to, but this decision with this person is coming to you with all of this love, and this was in your past. This is not for all of us Pisces. Okay, but it's someone here that's offering you the full cup of love. A full cup. Do you understand? A full cup. Um, but um, it says here, great on, on this particular card. You got here, your, your card reading, you got Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer on both of your cards. Then here you got the swords. Gemini Libra Aquarius. So it's got something to do with a Pisces and a Gemini Libra Aquarius. Okay, these are the signs that are showing up, but fit it where it fits. Okay, it says a great sadness that will heal with time. Okay, let go of the past. Person grow, personal growth that comes from challenge, healing, misunderstanding, being there for those in need. For some reason, you must let go of what somebody did to you or hurt you. Or this person, this Aquarius, needs to let go of whatever you did to hurt them or whatever it was. Do you understand? It's important that you know this. Um... What I want you to know, Pisces, is that sometimes, and I'm talking about me, sometimes we make mistakes in life, and that mistakes follow us, and it's in our past. And let me tell you, until you see in your heart who you are, and I'm talking about myself, 
I made a lot of mistakes. And like I said, I know the world comes back. And I'm glad that it came back. Because if you remember me telling you from, if you look back all the way when I first started doing my videos, oh my God, it was crazy. I was vicious. Right? Because I felt like I was the one to be in someone disappointed and disrespect me when I knew that it was me that did it, not them. And it took for me to lose the person to realize that I was the one that played a part in this. Right? And I had to fix it. And that's what I did. And it's kind of hard when someone comes right back at you with the same thing you did. Because you're saying, well, I apologize. And they're saying, well, it's not easy for me to forget what you did. Right? It's not. But that's the way it goes. You understand? That's the way it goes. And you need to understand it. There's someone here that wants to give you a lot of love. And I mean, they are really loving you. And it's from your past. But that person has to heal from a lot. And so do you. And that's the only way that you can move forward. And I know that y'all are going to say, well, I don't want to ever see this person, but then this is not for you. Take what fits you and let the rest go. All right? You're going into the hermit, the hermit mode. Now, what you've been through already is someone coming with full of love for you, and boy, you flicking pictures with them, and you're doing a lot of things. This person wants to offer you everything, but you got your cup halfway, Pisces, because you already know. Um, it's, I got to make sure because I know I screwed up. And this person saying, yeah, I know you screwed up, but I still want to give you flowers. But I want you to know what you did to me. All right? So it's coming into forgiveness, but they ain't forgiving it. They're not forgiving everything you did. But it's a working process. Okay? It's a learning process. You got that? Learning. Um, then you go into the hermit, all right? The hermit is Virgo, a time to spend in peaceful um, meditation and meaningful solution. Shine your light as an as, as example to others. Seek out or become a spiritual monitor to self-discovery. You are seeking, you're going within, and you're learning who you are. And this is what you're going through right now in your life, okay? Um, but things are moving fast, and it's like you're hitting the finish line to what you're doing, all right? And there it is. Look at you. You 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 got fire here. You're going into the hermit mode, but you got um, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, passion, confidence. Restless events requires immediately action. Trust your intuition. Stay focused. A passion relationship. You're in a harm and mold. It's something and someone that's coming to you that wants to give you everything. But it's some it, you're going to have to make this decision. Okay, you got the nights of fire, and that's fast moving. Coming to you fast. And then you got the seven of also fire. And it's Sagittarius. It says stand up for yourself and your beliefs. Okay? Have confidence. Courage. Those uh, uh, challenges. Those in power. But also choose your battle wisely. So it stays to coming to you fast. And you're going into a hermit mode because you got to know what you want to do. Okay, you got to go with it because you got to know what you're going to do. 
But this is coming fast to you. But it's saying stand in your power and whatever it is you're challenged that you're going to be challenged to do, you got to know that challenge. You got to know what that's going to stand for. Okay? Um... Uh, then you come into this, and this is your money. This is what's coming after this challenge of things moving fast for you, this love, this. Everything is in love with you. But it's something that you need to make a choice about and choose it wisely and make it right. Make it right because starting over with someone, it's huge because starting over means if working to make things work, right? But remember, it takes a lot for you to start over with a person. And until someone lives with you is when you say, look, we're going to have to do this and do that because it has to be balanced all the way around the board. It's just not... Um, someone moving into with you or you moving in with them and then you still paying everything by yourself. No, something must be balanced because it has to be an equal and take. Okay? Remember that because you by yourself is, you don't even have to do shit, but when it's another person coming into you and that person depends, not depends, but just come in and think, oh, I don't have to do shit, then it's also another person's weight on you. So therefore, you got to know what you're doing. You don't want to take care of a person until you get so frustrated and say, what are you going to pay here? You can't do that. It should be right down the line from the door. What you're going to do and what they're going to do. Okay? So now, that is what's coming now. Fast. You need to make decisions. Now, on what is coming to you, the future, okay, you see yourself again with the pinnacles, your money, studying, you got coins, you studying, you, you concentrating on something. Um, you're cheerful, you're dependable, you, um, it's time for you to get to work. An excitement opportunity present itself. Happy news about your career. Promotion, a scholarship, a new area to study. And that's what I'm about. I'm about whatever is going to make me grow. If I got to travel, then I got to travel. If I got to move, then I got to move. You understand? But whatever it is, it's, I know that, I know this is my home, Jersey, but I don't feel like, Jersey is where I'm going to be doing everything I'm going to be doing. I just don't feel it, okay? Um, it says the loss, a loss of peace of mind or personal freedom. Take cautious and be aware of others' action, okay? Uh, material loss, make sure you are being honest. With yourself, embracing, uh, um, embracing or um, embarrassment, embarrassing, or someone. It says, "I feel like you studying, you making this money, but Pisces, don't try to run ahead of people and be honest about everything." Okay. Because it says a loss of peace of mind or personal or personal freedom. Okay? So you need to make a choice and make it wisely, okay? Uh, take action or uh, take precautions or take be cautioned and be aware of others' action. Be cautious or be aware of other people's action. Do you understand? Of how other people are seeing and acting around you, okay? 
uh, material loss because be sure you are being honest with yourself. Embracing embarrassment secret. If someone seemed like you got everything going on over here, but someone is trying to get away with something. But it's this bird that's sitting there watching. Either being sneaky about something or it may be. Um, you need to have this peace of mind and be free from whatever it is that you're not being honest with yourself or with someone. Okay. Once you, once you be free of that, then you're free to be you because when people are high secrets, they can't be free because it's like, you're always looking behind your back to make sure whatever, whatever, it be, you know what I mean? So you got to be honest with this because you, you, it needs to be honest. I, it's, has to be balanced. Do you understand? Things got to be right. And there it is. Working too hard on multiple jobs. The need to be balanced and fun together in your life. Juggling multiple, um, um, making everything, try to make everything first in your life. You can't do that. You got to give and give. Okay. Balancing the budget also. Um, everything needs to be balanced in your life. And I'm going to keep saying that. You need to have balance in your life. And I'm very late with this reading. So this is going to upload too late because I should have been at this reading done. I want to pull out at least one more deck of cards. Do you understand that someone's coming into your life, but you need to be honest with yourself. Because if you ain't honest with yourself, then you're keeping secrets and all that. That ain't good. You need to be honest with your host, with yourself, so that things can flow right for you. All right? You don't want this karma to come back and bite you in your ass again. You don't want that to happen. So you better be honest. Okay? Not the right time. Not the right time. Okay? Not the right time. I don't know what, what um, is not the right time, but you need to make things. Um, meditation bringing answers. Yes, ask God to bring you the answer to whatever you want it to be because it's something the answers no. All right? No to what? No to whatever it is that you don't want to want to know or whatever it is that you try to do. You need to know what you want to do because, um, or uh, you know, you might have a good thing and then you might not know what you want. Barking a barren bear, a barren berries. Okay, I'm excited beyond limitation into joy and freedom. I don't know, I feel like somebody feels like maybe, you know, they're not happy where they at, but they want to be with someone, or whatever it is, I have no clue. Um, when you let, when you be free to be free, and only you know what you need to be free of, I don't know if it's cross watchers or Pisces, or Pisces with a cross watcher, you will feel the, the, the blossoming in your life. Everything is it's got to be right in your life, okay? Things got to be right. And that's what you need to know. Things must be right. It says barking on an adventure. You're going to be traveling. You're seeing everything for what it is. But you need the bottom line to this whole thing. You got someone that loves you and wants to give you it all. But you need to go within yourself. And believe on what you believe because the only secret you're going to have is your own. So whatever it is that you need to make a choice, you need to be wise about this choice and know what you're doing. And let me tell you something. Everybody starts from rock bottom. I don't know one relationship in the world that started sky high and everything being perfect. Everything must start rock bottom. Everybody's not rich. Everybody is, you know, 
it's not fortunate to give you the world from the door. Or every some people you meet that don't give nothing, but then as soon as you say, look, you're going to have to come and get this or put this on the table, it works out. We're on different levels. So everything has to be a give and take, but you got to make it be a give and take. Do you understand? I mean, I never had one relationship in my whole entire life. And I'm going to tell you, my whole entire life, that I had someone come to the table and give me the work. I, I never had that happen because um, I always had my own place, so somehow they always wound up living with me. And then I wound up paying everything because, you know, I had to pay my bills and everything. And then it took a minute for me to say, well, listen, are you going to pay or are you going to, if you want to stay here, you got to pay something. Do you understand? So once you decide to make that transformation, whenever it's going to take, remember that everything starts from the bottom. Nothing's going to start like that overnight. People, you got to know, is this the person I want to be with? Is this the person I want to spend my life with? You have up and down, but that doesn't mean that um, you beat somebody down because you think that they're not worth your time. They got You got to give to receive, and they got to give to receive. It's got to be balanced. Do you understand? That's important. I mean, like, me, I have my grandson, right? So I don't want my grandson to meet everybody. So my grandson ain't going to meet everybody to come to, in my life. No. I got to make sure that things is right before they meet my grandson. I don't want everybody around my grandson. And so I usually have my grandson on the weekends. So, yeah, it's kind of hard. But I will work it out. I will work it out. I will do that. So, that is your reading. If you want a private reading, get it with me. But I have to cut it short because it is getting late and I want this to upload. I love you all. Have a great day. Peace and love and happiness.